We now have an ABC News investigation into a shadowy and cruel world. Right now, 28 million people, children across the globe, are forced to work long hours at low wages. And ABC's Bob Woodruff traveled all the way to India for our new series, Woodruff Explores, to show us the little boys as young as nine forced deep underground to do one of the most dangerous jobs on Earth. Oh my God. <laughs> It's about, it's about two feet tall. Welcome to the rat holes of northeast India. I can barely even fit. A dark and confusing maze of coal mines dug hundreds of feet underground. I've come here with Pemba, a teenager who's been working in these tunnels since he was 12. He's just one of the thousands of children, small enough, desperate enough, in a place where child labor laws are all but ignored. So you don't even go on your knees. You just do it on your feet? <laughs> <laughs> there is a history of earthquakes here. Collapsed tunnels crushing or trapping the workers. Pemba just laughs it off. Yeah, I need the ID, huh? <laughs> okay, no, no, let's go back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Rosanna Lindo has been working to end this kind of child labor. What's the youngest child you've ever known about that worked in the mine? Nine years old. Nine years old. He has seen accidents where uh, the roof has collapsed. You feel to some degree lucky that you have survived? As, as long as God is there with him, he doesn't feel scared of anything. Although this work has been banned in India since 1952, it's up to each state to enforce the law, but authority is easily bribed. Pemba has never been to school. He has worked just to feed himself. He has uh, never seen life outside this place because uh, he works about five to six days a week. Oh, you're heading to school? But for his baby brother Bibki, Pemba has a new dream. Their mother now walks him two miles each day to this school. Pemba gathers together six dollars a month to pay the tuition so that Bibki will never have the same life that he has. Bob Woodruff, yes. ABC News, in Northeast India. Good luck to him. You can see more of Bob's report from our new series, Woodruff Explorers, later tonight on Nightline.